Well, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name's Lauren, and here we talk about the things that actually matter in football. Let's talk about the end of week 13 going into week 14. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about my lineup last week. Um, Herndon, my trash whisperer pick, fail. Definitely a fail, but who picked that the Jets were gonna put up points? I mean, obviously this girl or else I wouldn't have played Herndon. So uh, that's something, right? Jets D, that interception, oh my God. The white girl dance in my living room was epic when that happened. The way Herndon managed to get zero points with all of the offensive points going around, pretty painful, but uh, Derek Carr is just fucking annoying. Russell Gage, for what he cost, did excellent. Kiki Cootie, good again? Has Kiki Cootie been good all this time? Have the Texans just been trying to protect Kiki Cootie from COVID? Calling him a healthy scratch? Probably not, but he did great last week, so I'll take it. At least he's not a fucking failure. Really all we gotta say about my lineup, it really turned out to be mostly trash, so there we go. My three favorite things about week 13, uh, number one, on Alex Smith's leg. The way the athletic tape trainer just taped over the blood on Alex Smith's leg, we'll just, We'll make it look like it's not bleeding. Ignore the splatters that are all over your cleat. Uh, second favorite part, the fact that Colt McCoy looked like he was fucking terrified to be playing football. Number three, the fact that we are talking about Des Bryant being a scratch for that game. Still, I was buying into the revenge game. Des fucking caught that ball. But let's be real here. He's maybe had two receptions on the year, tops. Everyone's talking about his him being on the COVID-19 list, like he's the key to the Ravens making it to the playoffs. He was barely relevant. Moving on to our Trash Whisperer Pick of the Week. Now, I had narrowed it down to three players uh, this morning. David Moore, Seahawks. Quintez Cephas for Detroit, the winner. Greg Ward. It almost seems like the lazy pick because he and Jalen Hurts clearly have a good thing going on. But I definitely think Jalen Hurts has something huge to prove. Uh, it's gonna be tough against New Orleans, but the weird like end of the road guys seem to be pretty good against New Orleans because they're gonna cover everyone else. Greg Ward, you are my trash whisperer pick of the week. Well guys, I think that's it for this week. Thank you for watching. And remember, forget the stats, play with your heart. And may the fantasy gods be with you all. What the fuck's his name? 